Hello, everybody. I'm making this as a dual purpose video. It's a why I can't stand being on Facebook because Facebook is not a free speech platform. They allow anonymous speech, though. In other words, people can go on there and slander you and lie about you, but, you know, uh, they can only do that because they hide behind the keyboard. You know, if anybody thinks that what I'm doing is a scam, go to littletruckerkennel.com. I'm out here for everybody to see. I dare you to find a scammer that's going to be as honest as I am. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, this this one here is a Facebook page of a troll. This is a common troll. They all have this thing in common. Miss Ruth uh, Pinterman here. Let me look. She claims to be an animal lover. If you look at her little fat dogs on the couch there, I bet she feeds them chocolate bonbons. Because every one of those dogs look kind of sad. And uh, I doubt... If they came, if she brought them out here and turned them loose with mine, they would all probably die of a coronary heart attack. Have you ever seen any little dogs that are so out of shape? Look how fat. I mean, they're, they're, they like, look like little footballs with legs, and I don't think they're pregnant. So we got unhealthy dogs that you would, she probably says she loves them to death. And that's exactly what she's going to do. She's loving them to death. And she wants to point the finger at me and tell me what I'm doing wrong? Really. Now, this is, I, I'm not raising any money off of Facebook. And I've got people like this that troll me. And for some reason, Facebook won't let you block them. Or they, my site's not letting them block them, so I'm just going to make these folks famous. Let me show you the other person that deserves to be famous. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, here we go, Ace. Right, here's another thing they all have in common. I'm going to show you what all these trolls have in common. When you click on About, let's see About. No workplace, no schools, nothing else to show, no relationship, no education. Uh, their schools or uh, places lived, uh, they, they, no, they don't live anywhere. Basic contact. He says he's a male, but in this picture, I don't know. I think she's the one that wears the pants in the family. Uh, let's see here. I can tell by the background of this picture here. They appear to probably be... Well, it's hard to say because this type of tree right here could be out in the West Coast. But this stuff here looks like it might be in the in the Northeast. So, not really telling too much about. I see they're in a school, school district three. Uh, yeah. He says, the guy says he's into IT, but... If somebody has an IT business and they're legit, look at my, uh, go to littletruckerkennel.com. There's somebody that's proud of their business. I throw everything out for everybody to see. I don't have to hide all my stuff. So Ace Rawls, you're nothing more than an internet troll. You're hiding behind your keyboard. And I'm going to do my best to make you famous just like i do any puppy mill scam i throw you on my website and make you famous so there's the the two trolls and this is why i i hate facebook because facebook allows this anonymous stuff they don't they don't make people uh put their face where their their comments are They're, these are these right here i don't even know if these are any of the same folks I don't know, that might be the same guy, but they, I don't think so. He's, uh, and from the looks of this picture, this is definitely on the East Coast. That's not West Coast. Uh, somewhere, uh, lands fairly flat, maybe up north. 
Michigan area, up Ohio, Michigan, Indiana. So, uh, Mr. Rawls, you are. Let me let me look look at your picture here to your face and call you a cowardly troll. My information is out there for everybody to see. You see who I am. So anyway, let me go to some of his posts here. Uh, boop boop boop. Uh, here we go because I'm gonna delete these. I want I want y'all to see them, but I'm gonna delete them because they're they're just slander. Uh, let's see. Headline should read, state man arrested for harm to animals due to lack of fire suppression system on his animal involved for-profit business. No facts. Total slander accusation. You know, I would love to take this guy to court because I keep accurate tax records on everything. If you don't think so, call the IRS. I have a tax attorney and all that stuff. Everything is written down. That's why the dogs have their own account. They have their own separate bank. The dogs, everything is kept separate. So all these accusations with no proof. That's called slander. Uh, let's see. Ruth Peterman. Yeah. Little Chucky Kennel, I'm wondering why all the comments that caught you in several lies, they caught me in several lies, keep disappearing. Because you ain't caught me in nothing, you're just posting lies. Lies like stating it would cost maybe 20k to replace the kennel, yet you wanted 100k. All along with, what? Many more statements. The name calling... Yeah, you did when people questioned you about practices instead of done. Okay. Oh, Y'all can freeze frame that. This is a 100% lie. The 20K came from Mr. Rawls when he said he could replace it for 10000 I wrote him back and said, look, dude, I'll give you 20000 if you think you can replace that building. I know you can't. And that part of the bet was if you can't replace it for twenty thousand, you give me the entire hundred thousand. No comment. So Mr. Rawls, Miss Patterson with your little fat dogs that need are dying of coronary disease, you're nothing but trolls. That's why I hate Facebook. I can't stand it. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, I mean, if you if you say anything, you know, uh, what do you call it, about about uh, viruses or anything like that, oh, they're all over that. But you got these, these trolls here that are allowed to slander you anonymously, and they're full of crap. So, yes, Miss Ruth Penterman, I'll tell you what, Miss Ruth, if you can rebuild that what I had right there in my background, if you can rebuild that for $40,000, I'll sign my whole farm over to you. You can have the truck, the tractor, all that stuff. If you can replace everything in that shed for forty grand, which is double the $20,000, I'll eat a dog turd. How's that for a bet there, Miss uh, Penner? Uh, Pinterman, you'd love to see me eat a live dog turd on the video, but you won't because you couldn't replace that thing for forty thousand. I doubt I could replace it for a hundred thousand. Now, here we go. This is why I'm not raising any money off of Facebook. Because I got people like this that sit there and lie. This is out and out slander. And there's no way to get in contact with them. Facebook won't give it give it to you. Well, actually, anybody can sit there and, and make a fake uh, website. And like this guy here says, he's, he's got a business. Yeah, if you've got a business, you're not very proud of it. 
you're not very proud of it because you'd be all over it. You'd be like me. You'd have a website, littletruckerkennel.com, where I show you my dog's health certificates. I show you videos uh, of what that kennel looked like before it burnt. All right. So, uh, yeah. These people, let me tell you what these people want. They want all of my dogs to be taken away and put to sleep. That's a nice way of saying killed. That's what they want. They want people like me to have all our dogs taken away so people out there that would like to have a miniature pincher can't have one. All they think that you should have is a mutt from the... Uh, from the Humane Society that they can't figure out that the reason those dogs are in the pound from the Humane Society is because of stupid people like them. If they were proud of anything they were doing, they'd have their names up. They would at least have where they were at. They'd have some kind of information about themselves. Yet, when, I, when I'm sitting here, they're going to call me a scammer when all my information is out for the whole world to see. Hmm. Please show me examples on the Internet of scammers that put all their information out there for everybody to see. I'd like to see that scammer. I, I don't believe I have ever seen a scammer that would put health certificates, pedigrees, phone numbers, addresses. You know, when you call up, can I come out and see the dogs? Sure, come on. I'm out in the boondocks. You might want to get you a map printed out because cell service don't work so good out here. But, yeah. Now, I've had other people say, aren't you afraid? of nut jobs coming out there, I'm 61 years old. I've already lost everything. The best thing that this troll could do is come out here and shoot me. I mean, well, what have I got to be afraid of? I'm right with Jesus. If he comes out here, if some nut job comes out here and wants to blow me away, I know where I'm going. I mean, I spent five, four or five years putting every penny that I got from those dogs back into that building. So, you know, I ain't got nothing left to lose. I've done lost it all. So all you little Facebook willy cowards, if you want to come out here, you know, you think I'm such an evil person, just come out here and put me out of everybody's misery. I mean, that seems to be from your posts what you want to do. Or you just want to hide behind keyboard and act like, like you're bad. Yeah. I'm not Joe Rogan. I'm not apologizing. Thank you very much.